Uh, has anyone been playing Yakuza Seven? I know if Blaine were here, she she'd be uh, no. shocking. So mm, I have a I have a good friend that just beat it. Nice. I have uh, not played it. I'm a huge fan of the the Yakuza series, though, so it's it's on the list. I was uh I was very surprised to learn that uh, up until 11 months before its Japanese release, uh, Yakuza Seven was planned to be uh kind of a regular entry in the series where it's a beat 'em up. But for an April 1st video they, they put out last year, I'm assuming, I'd have to look at the dates, um, the studio behind it, uh, Ryuga, I, 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 I aced Japanese in, a, in a, my first semester of community college. I don't, I'm bad at it now, forgive me. But the development studio released a video showcasing uh, the new titles of Radical Shift from the JRP- into the JRP genre. So it was a it was an April Fool's joke. They're just like, oh, haha, Yakuza is a JRPG now. But they actually got so much critical acclaim from that. People were excited, like, oh wow, we're actually excited. Let's let's bring the series into a new direction. And the development studio looked at what was supposed to just be a dumb little throwaway joke. They went, oh, uh, we need to change the fundamentally every aspect of the combat in this game right now. So in the last 11 months of development, they actually managed to turn it around, which in of itself is pretty damn amazing. But the fact that the game came out as good as it does, as a tested mm-hmm. by uh, Blaine's commentary yeah. from last episode, I think that's pretty damn commendable and pretty damn crazy. I really need I to play it. I just think it's so amazing. The Yakuza, the, the Yakuza series in general, it has a quality bar that I think most development studios and publishers would absolutely kill for. It seems that uh, the seventh game now has been receiving rave reviews from what I've been seeing from other fans. I've now, I don't know how many all of you have played. I've played Kiwami, I've played three, and I've played four. All of them have been have been wonderful. The, so, uh, the only one I haven't played yet is six. I'm, I'm That is currently installed on my PS5. Okay. But uh, I really need to jump into this, mm-hmm. and um, that, I, I that my my friend who's a large Yakuza franchise, for like six, made him cry. Like he, <laughs> oh, no. like six is gonna. <laughs> I hope you're ready. It's crazy how much love uh, the studio has been getting, and and I, I want to say like most of that's coming from how how good of an entry point zero was. But uh, with the English voice acting, I know specifically, is actually drawing in a lot more uh, Western audiences for uh, for Yakuza Seven. So I'm just glad to see the franchise kind of get the love that it deserves. It's, it's uh, so fun. It's so funny because I've been playing this. I remember the original PS2 voice acting for Yakuza Mark One. Is Majima, oh best. my god! And it's. T- it's so fun. I, I'd forgotten. I went back and looked at it, and it's so funny, especially after playing Kiwami. It's like, hello, Majima-san. My name is Kiryu-san. I am a Japanese person. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, as, as good as people are saying the English voice acting is pretty good for Seven, but I don't know. Like, that game is so Japan-centric. Mm-hmm. I, I don't see myself playing, yeah. with, with, playing with the English dub. I mean, I saw a little bit of the English dub today because I was watching a video that ended up talking about it. It looks pretty good. Like, for, like, something that's, like, it's it's sort of like when you watch an anime dub, but, you know, like, you watch a Japanese anime, but, like, like the dub's in English. And when you hear a really good dub, you, it just kind of doesn't really matter to you. For me, that's how the Yakuza 7 one sounded. Like, it sounded really damn good. I, th- I, think, if a, I think if a dub is done well, I'll absolutely watch that mm-hmm. over the Japanese one. Like some, just some that kind of jump out of mind would probably be uh, Death Note, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I I will yeah. not watch Dragon There's Ball the... Z in Japanese. I do not like Japanese yeah. Goku's voice. Dragon Ball Fighters is Dragon Ball Fighters freaks me out. Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters has got me used to Grandma Goku, but I'm 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 still oh, Sean Shemmel all the way. Yeah, agreed. So it's like, and it's like, honestly, the fact that they even added an English job, because I know Judgment had had one, and apparently that one was really damn good, too. Mm-hmm. So it seems like they're finally getting down how to do a good one, and especially adding it in makes it much more accessible to so many other people. Well, so I know they I'm had glad a, that they're doing it. 
I know they had a bit of a marketing deal with Microsoft, so I, I would not be surprised if that was one of the uh, things that Microsoft might have even funded, just because um, Microsoft knows most of their player base is Western, and that's just an easier way for people to get into the series.